Welcome to another edition of the Ponty Rugby Podcast, broadcast on Tuesday evening, the 14th of January. I'm Kito Davis of the Ponty Media Team. I'm down at the wet and windy, stormy start at Sardis Road this evening where Ponty are training. I'll catch up with a couple of members of the squad to look back at the big home win against RGC last Saturday and looking ahead to the away trip to Ebbovale coming up next weekend. I'm talking to Ponty outside half, Diggy Bird. Well, Diggy, if you look back at the RGC game first, um, how would you compare the performance with the result in terms that Ponty dominated a lot of the game but couldn't always turn pressure into points? Yeah, I think that's a fair reflection. We, you know, we did dominate the game in terms of possession and maybe territory, but there was a couple of sloppy errors uh, in the in the wrong areas of the pitch. Really, when we were looking to get you know across the line, we didn't quite capitalise on our on the territory that we had. Um, but I think you know it's, it's a good result. RGC are always a tough outfit to play against, so we'll take a win, you know, regardless of uh, of the performance, I guess. For yourself as an outside half, then you know, controlling the game amongst the backs, how did you feel was the platform there? to give the possession to Ponty and um, bring in your midfield players into play then? How did the game go for you in that context? It felt a bit stop-start, to be honest. Um, there didn't really seem to be much of a flow to the game, which was always hard to get any momentum in. Um, you know, the platform was good, um, but I think, like I say, it was probably about 17 scrums or line-outs and things like that. So, you know, it was a lot of breakages in play, which doesn't quite help with us trying to get any sort of um, go forward and then move, you know, move our play from that. Was there any talk in the changing room after maybe about you know ruin that the bonus point didn't come away? But um, you know, a win is important. But um, the bonus point maybe got away on Saturday. Yeah, I think that's you know that's a fair reflection again. The five points would have been massive for us on the weekend. But you know a win was always the the main target um, to getting that ticked off first of all, and then like I say, if we we taken a few more opportunities in that second half, then the, the five points should have been ours really. But um, yeah, I think everyone's pretty happy with a win. And we move on to Ebbervale now this week. We're talking about Ebbervale, and um, we've been looking back at the season, you know, home form and away form. How crucial is it now to carry this momentum of the win against RGC into an away game at Ebbervale? Yeah, I think it's pretty clear that we're, we're building a bit of a fortress at Sardis, but we're not doing too great on the road. So I think if we can get a bit more momentum and win this weekend now away, um, I think Ebbervale have picked up a little bit of form as well. A couple of decent results off the back of uh, a pretty dodgy start, probably from their uh, perspective. So you know, if we can get down there and we can get another win on the road, it will give us that confidence to to finish the season in a strong position as well, and you know, try and keep things moving, just you know, away from from Sardis Road as well. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Diggy. Best of luck on Saturday. Cheers. Thank, thank you. you. I'm joined now by Locke Christikomidis. Well, firstly, uh, Chris. It's been a long time out, uh, shoulder operation, and just coming back into it now. How does it feel? Yeah, it feels great. Like you said, it's a long time, long uh, nine months. I think it was four months after the op. I was back out on the pitch playing. You know, fair credit to the medical staff here; they've been brilliant. Even my rehab and everything, and then obviously the team staff here, Godfrey and Justin Lee and Matthew's got me involved. You know, doing a bit of coaching as well with the team and everything else. But yeah, you know, it's just always great to put your back, boots back on and get out there. Um, I was promised 10 minutes only come out and I think I ended up having like all the second half and then yeah big 70 minutes on uh, Saturday but yeah just need to get these games under my belt now and hopefully you know a couple of weeks I'll be at in uh, top form. But last Saturday against RGC was your first full start of the season as you said how did you find the going was it a uh, tough forward confrontation? Yeah it was fr uh, quite uh, set piece orientated line out to scrum um, my legs felt all right. It wasn't until the second half really when my lungs started blowing. We had a bit of a big defensive set, but yeah, you know it was a good open game to get back into. You know, I just you like throw the ball around. We're exactly the same, so I, you know that was my target game to come back. And uh, yeah, you know, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Ponty were dominant for long periods, you know, especially in the first half on Saturday, but couldn't quite convert that pressure into points. Was there an element of frustration creeping into the game then? Yeah, you think you know, I think we were camped inside the. They half basically all the first half. Um, it's got a nice try the first. I think the first twenty minutes was probably nil nil and really didn't. Was, uh, yeah. You know we were dominant. Should really put points on the board there. And I think maybe you know it's a game when you look back. It's a bonus point loss. But you know we just got to be happy to pick up the win there. RGC not, not so much a bogey team, but you know it's a team that we have struggled to beat over the years as well. So yeah, it's just 
you know, agreed together win four points in a bag and then look forward now to another big game uh, on Saturday up in Airbrook. Can you carry that momentum now? Because it hasn't always been easy on the road for us. Ebbuville bottom placed in the table, but it's never easy up there. Yeah, you know, they're scrapping for their lives, you know, down at the bottom with Bridgend and, you know, a couple of other teams. And, you know, it's you know, real difficult to go up there, weather conditions as well, you know, obviously hammering down tonight. I think the weather conditions not improving much. So it's going to be a real heavy pitch again. I think it'll be more of a forward orientated game, you know, which is what they like to play. You know, I've looked at the you know, the last couple of games, you know, they're performing really well, you know, they've done well against Merthyr, and maybe should have snuck out at the end, you know, go draw down in front of every last week as well again, which is uh, no easy feat. So yeah, they're going to be buying up for it. Uh, I think we lost up there last year as well, just beat them here at home at the start of the season, you know, they've got quality players, I think Rhys Jones has gone back here from Merthyr as well, so he's going to be pulling the strings behind, so yeah, we know we're in for a, a difficult midday. What's going to be the magic formula to get the win up at Ebo on Saturday? Just hard work, I think, to be honest with you. Know, uh, you know, the boys always put in 100% effort uh, week in, week out. we just got to dot the I's, cross the T's this week in training now, have a look at uh, a preview of them and, uh, yeah, you know, just work right now. I think there's, you know, there's a lot of kids out there will make mistakes, you know, they'll drop balls, they miss tackles, you know, we'll concede tries, but, you know, one thing, you know, Ponty Bowers had is, you know, we'll you know, give it our all right until the very end and, if our work rate is up, and uh, you know, I'm hopeful that we can get the win. Excellent. Well, thank you, Dick. Oh, and best of luck on Saturday. Cheers.